guys welcome back okay so as you guys may or may not know I have been going through my palette collection kind of by brand and just re-familiarizing myself with the palettes that I actually have from these brands kind of how I feel about them if I want to keep them if not just kind of pre looking through my collection to figure out what palettes I might want to declutter next and which ones I really feel like I need to use more or even try, you know, the ones I haven't used yet. So today I'm going to be going through all of the palettes that I have from Revolution. Makeup Revolution, Revolution London, I Heart Revolution, whatever the case may be. And surprisingly, I don't have as many as I thought that I might because I do buy a good amount of Revolution palettes or products I should say because I do have a lot of their face palettes highlighters you know blushes stuff like that but as far as eyeshadow palettes I don't have as many as I thought I did but I did declutter a lot of Revolution palettes last year because Revolution is like so hit or miss it's not even funny and a lot of times it's more miss than hit so anyways let's just jump right in i've been yak yak yakking enough and let's just take a look at my revolution palette collection okay now to start off i have some of these what are these 15 pan eyeshadow palettes and they make a whole plethora of these type of palettes some are you know colorful mattes neutrals warm tones they do a lot of dupe type palettes but these really caught my eye this one here is the revolution foil frenzy hybrid because these are like all foil or all shimmer type shadows as you can see i kind of went to town <laughs> with this palette i didn't really care for this palette this one in particular did not work out well for me i don't know what it was because it's like with this palette the swatches look really really pretty you know as you can see the swatches look pretty enough but it just did not translate on my eyes when you guys know i like to use brushes or applicators and stuff not really use my fingers and it just did not translate nice and beautifully foiled as i thought it would so this one actually might be getting decluttered <laughs> fairly soon because I don't think I'll ever reach for it mm. now this one here is another one of the foil frenzy palettes this is foil frenzy fusion very very pretty it has more of like the kind of earthy you know earthy shades in it and as you can see I haven't even used this palette yet I think after I tried that hybrid one I was kind of turned off a bit even though I'd already purchased these I was kind of turned off because it wasn't as foiled and shimmery as I thought it would be, but it's a very, very pretty palette. So this one is the Fusion, Foil Frenzy Fusion. So I'll have to try that one out before I declutter. This one here is one of their Reloaded palettes. It's called Passion for Color. So very, very pretty. I think this is one of the, the newer ones that I got because I don't know. I don't... I do not recall using this palette <laughs> at all. So, and it doesn't look like I have. It looks like maybe I did a couple of swatches, but I don't think I've actually used it yet. But this color story is actually really, really pretty. It's very pretty actually. So I need to kind of try, try this out because um, there are mattes as well as shimmers in here. It's not all matte or all shimmer. Nice little combination. So yeah, this is the Reloaded Passion for Color. Next, I have here one of their really large palettes. This is the Patricia Bright collab palette. Well, one of them. Of course, I got the more colorful one. This one is called Rich in Color, and it was her collab palette with Revolution. Very nice palette. It is like that tin type packaging. So, you know, if you don't like that, you might not like this, but very nice size mirror in here and as you can see an extremely gorgeous array of colorful shadows i really liked this palette this palette is very nicely pigmented i would say this shadow down here i didn't really care for because it's kind of one of those like um you know like putty type super shock 
shadows and I don't really care for those that much so I didn't really like that although it did translate very beautifully on the eye I don't like working with those but yeah I like this palette a lot I actually need to pull it out so I can play with it some more it's very very pretty Another one of their larger palettes is this uh, collab palette that they did with Alexis Stone. I did go ahead and pick this one up. This is the Instinct palette. And these are the colors in this palette. This is an all matte palette. All matte shadows, just a nice beautiful array of each color. So you can definitely blend out shadows very easily with this palette i really like i only used this palette i think twice and i really enjoyed it both times that i used it i love having this in my collection just because of the fact that it's like there's so many different shades within one color that you can easily you know choose a lighter shade a darker shade blend it out you know it just really helps with blending and creating beautiful color look colorful looks so i do like this palette now I did pick up their, what was this? Like their wild, <laughs> wild animal collection or whatever when they came out with these. I did a video swatching these and talking about them. And of course I used the colorful one in that video. But I fell in love with these palettes because of the packaging, of course. And this one here is the Courage palette. And so it has like the leopard print on there and this is what the color scheme for this palette is now what i will say about these palettes is they're not the most amazing formula to me they're not revolution's best formula at all they're not they're just okay subpar not the best i would say out of all three of these the colorful one is the best to me this one here is the fierce palette so it has the tiger on there and of course the beautiful reds and oranges it's like a really fiery palette this one i did do a really pretty red look with it um but yeah it's if i wanted to do a red eye look i wouldn't reach for this <laughs> just just because you can get a, a mediocre type look from it and lastly i have integrity which is the zebra my favorite one by far of course these colors are absolutely gorgeous and i felt like in my opinion this one performed the best for me maybe it's because i like bright colors who knows but i feel like this one performed the best for me and it is very very pretty absolutely gorgeous so yeah i mainly picked these up really for the packaging anyway so these are not going anywhere now i do have a couple of recent purchases that i already showed in my last <laughs> haul that i haven't tried out yet but honey trust me they are on the list to try out soon this is their tasty avocado very cute packaging absolutely adorable and these are the colors in the tasty avocado nice array i like the blues that they chose to mix in here with the greens i think that just gives it like a, a different type of feel as opposed to just your average green eyeshadow palette i really like those kind of like super light teal type blues that they put so yeah looking forward to trying that and also i picked up the glass mirror palette in my <laughs> recent purchases absolutely gorgeous packaging i mean i don't i don't know if i have another palette where i like the packaging more than this is really cute and these are the colors in this palette i love how they arrange these shades it's really mainly like blues you know pinks in here a few neutrals to get your blend on but i really do like how they arranged this palette it's just very visually pleasing to me i like it a lot it's really pretty so i hope it performs nicely as well i also have a few collab palettes that are in these smaller um you know smaller sizes this one is carmy make magic and this is his shadow palette this one is really pretty it's like i don't like 
these teeny tiny like smaller dime size pans i just don't care for those size pans but this palette as a whole oh my goodness if you have not tried the shimmers that are in this palette oh uh, yo <laughs> I, I must say, and I know I've said it before in videos talking about this palette, but it's like these shimmers, you know, they have like a shift to them. So they have like this really gorgeous like iridescence to them. Very, very pretty. And so I feel like he chose some really nice beautiful shimmer type shadows to go in this palette to create gorgeous looks and then you have you know these nice deeper mattes down here you have some beautiful light springtime shadows so i like this palette as a whole i think it's a very nice combination of colors and the packaging is really pretty as well if you can see that it kind of has like a turquoise foiled type look to it very very pretty now this one here is Tammy's collab with Revolution. This is her Tropical Palette. Is that what it's called? Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. So this is her colorful palette. You know, she does have another collab with them that is not as colorful as this. But this palette is very nice as well. I think it's one of the better Revolution um, formulas in a palette. I really like this. I think it creates a beautiful, colorful look. It's not my favorite colorful palette. It's not one that I would reach for first, <laughs> but you can create a nice, beautiful, you know, colorful look with this palette. What I like about it is the fact that she has the coinciding shimmers to all of the matte bold colors. So she has these beautiful, bold shimmers up here on the top row to go along with all the beautiful mattes in here. Very, very pretty. Her other collab palette is this one here. It has the rose gold packaging, very, very pretty. And this was her first collab with Revolution. This is a really nice palette as well, you guys. Actually, as far as performance goes, this one might be better. It has more of the neutral, everyday, you know, basic type shadows for you to use. She did add a pop of blue, pop of gold. Um, you know, so this is something where if you want a more toned down palette, not super bright like her other one, this one will probably be nice. I'm glad that I have both of them because, you know, I can kind of interchange them or mix them together if I want. But this palette is really, really nice as well. I also have the Soph X Revolution palette. This one is the Extra Spice, and it has the same kind of like shiny rose gold packaging as Tammy, you know, her first one does. These are the shadows in this palette. This palette gets really, really good reviews. I've only used this palette a couple of times, and it worked out nice enough for me. I think that there are some standout shadows in this palette that people really love like the silver the gold um even like the red shade let me swatch that one as well you know i think that people like some of the standout shadows in here so they really like this palette i wouldn't say that i was just that overwhelmed by this palette um the shadows the quality it's a decent palette it really is very nice decent palette but once again, not one of my absolute favorites. Next, I have here this Precious Stone palette. It also has a pretty kind of like teal green type packaging. It's not as shiny as the Carmi palette, but still very pretty nonetheless. I think this was maybe one of their holiday palettes. I know they had a whole collection of these. I think they had like a purple one this one and maybe a neutral type one but this green one is one that really stood out to me so I went ahead and picked this one up I'm glad I'm going through these palettes because I totally forgot that I bought this that is absolutely ridiculous I forgot that I bought this palette forgot that I even had it and when I bought it it was because I really really love this color scheme and wanted to play around with it so that is really a shame that I forgot I had it. <laughs> so now I can put it somewhere where I'll remember to use it. But yeah, this one is the Precious Stone. Next, I have here the Chilled Palette. 
This palette I bought 100% for the packaging. Oh my goodness, just looking at it right now makes me happy. It's so pretty. I love those leaves, the colorful leaves, just the whole, you know, I don't care about the, you know, theme of it at all, but I do love this packaging. <laughs> I love those leaves on this black background and the shininess of it. I don't know y'all, I love it. So anyways, this is what this palette looks like. Of course, it is their green themed, marijuana themed palette. And I mean, oddly enough, the color scheme in here, it really does not excite me. Very, very pretty. I know that you can get a gorgeous green look out of here, but <clears throat> it doesn't just like knock my socks off for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I have so many other green palettes that I really, really love. But yeah, I know I've seen some amazing eye looks done with this palette, but totally bought it for the packaging. Totally. Next, I have here the Constellation palette. And this, I believe, was part of a set what is it called? The Forever Flawless? Is that the name? Yeah, all of the palettes are in the Forever Flawless collection, but this one is the Constellation palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, it matches my eyes today. <laughs> but yeah, so, so pretty. I did use this palette comparing it to the ABH uh, Riviera, I believe it was. If I can um, remember, I will link that video above if you want to check it out. But yeah, I used this palette, compared it to the ABH Riviera, and honey, them looks, them eyes was like exactly the same, okay? <laughs> so anyways, if you want to check it out, I will link it above. But yeah, this is a very, very nice palette. Really, really like it. I also picked up the Optimum palette from the Forever Flawless collection. Really cute packaging. It's kind of like stone. And I got this because the color scheme was different to me. It's not something that I would typ typically gravitate to. So I wanted to kind of do something a little different. And yeah, you guessed it. I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> Why? Because I don't gravitate towards these colors. But this is what this palette looks like. So, you know, I don't know. Nothing super duper exciting or whatever. But I mean... You know, she cute or whatever. And lastly, for my Revolution collection, I know you guys, I thought I had more, but I have enough, okay? But lastly, I did pick up four of their color books. I know, you know, if you're a regular, you know that I picked these up, I think, during the holidays, like last year. And they have five of these actually but I didn't pick up the first one I think because it's like all like black and gray and I'm like I don't need that <laughs> yeah I did not need that so yeah I just got the colorful ones so let me put these in order right quick so this one is zero two as you can see it's very earthy it has like you know your browns and orangey type shades you know it's a color book. <laughs> but what I did like about these color books is the fact that there is a side that is all shimmer and then a side that is all matte. So, you know, and there is a clear um, divider that protects your shadows from breaking and spilling onto each other. So yeah, for each of these, there's a matte side and then there is a shimmer side. This one is color book 03, has the yellows and the reds. I think this is one of my favorite ones because it's just so fiery. The colors are just so vibrant in here. I mean, they are super duper vibrant. Same thing, it has the clear, I can't lift it up because of my nails, but yeah, it has the clear divider with the matte, matte side and the shimmer side, but yeah, these colors are super duper vibrant. I think these palettes are really more so for, you know, people who like to really, really get into different colors, blending, um, different shades of the same color, wanting a lot of variety and things like that. 
I think that these palettes are great for people like that. So this is the pinky purple one, which is 04. Once again, the clear divider with the shimmer side and the matte side. Very, very pretty. And lastly, 05 is the blue green book. And this one is definitely one of my favorites. You guys know I love me some blues and greens. Same thing, shimmer side, matte side, but absolutely gorgeous. So that's it, you guys. All of my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. And I'm glad. I'm glad because I feel like I don't have a crazy amount. I only feel like I want to declutter, I think, one of them <laughs> immediately which is the foiled frenzy one. But other than that, I'm happy with my Revolution collection. I definitely need to check out the ones that I haven't used yet and get familiar with them and show some more love to my Revolution palettes. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to check out these palettes and see what I got. <laughs> and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.